Now, none of my issues here are uh, or involve flight mechanics or anything like that. The flight in and of itself was smooth and no problems. But so I'm flying from Vegas. We had a layover in Chicago, and then we were going to fly down and then down to Jackson, right, or Birmingham. So Vegas to sh- Chicago, you know, it's early flight out of Vegas. Nobody's really talking. Packed flight. About midway through the flight, this guy like gets up and and goes to, like he, they swap seats. He swaps seats with another person. I'm like, that's just weird. But I don't think anything of it, right? Because I'm not really paying attention. When we land in Chicago, come to a halt. Everybody starts getting up. And they're like, can you please remain seated? And then two police officers who look like they could have played for the Bears come on the plane, and they get the guy who switched seats. Again, I have no idea what's going on, I'm, but now I'm just like, what, what happened, right? Well, you know, I go, I go through the airport, I get to my next flight, I move on. I don't really think that much about it. It was weird, it was an odd experience, but I don't worry that much about it. Like three or four days later, I'm at home, and uh, it, it's past telemarketer time, right? It's like 8.30 at night. So, you know, if somebody's calling you at that hour, it's probably something you should need to answer. And I get a phone call from Chicago. It's like, let's see what it is. And the woman, woman comes up, is this Brian Haddad? Never a good start. You're like, uh-oh, here we like, go. Yeah, yeah, Here we go, yeah. It's like, yeah, yes, yes, uh, uh, close enough, yes, that's, that's who I am. Uh, I'm so-and-so with the uh, the local office of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. And she proceeds to ask me if I was on a flight from Las Vegas to Chicago on this date. Yes, I was. Do you recall anything unusual happening on that flight? I was like, yeah, this one guy got up and switched seats with this person, and I thought that was odd, but I didn't know what was going on. And then that that guy got arrested when we landed in Chicago. She was like, do you have any knowledge of that person or, or, or what he was what he was doing on the plane? No. You have anything else that you remember from that flight in particular? No. All right, Mister Haydad, we may be in contact with you again, but that will, that that will do. Thank you for this at this time. Now, when you're a guy of my particular ethnic descent, <laughs> and you get a phone call from the FBI about a flight, I was a little nervous. I Googled. Every possible combination I could of man arrested, Midway Airport, on that date, everything I could put in there, nothing. This guy disappeared off the face of the earth. If he got, I think he went straight to, if you've seen Rendition, he went straight to wherever that is. He's gone. We don't talk about him no more. Never got another phone call from the FBI. But that unnerved me (laughs) And an incredible how, amount. How long ago was this? 2015. I wonder if enough time has passed that you could call the Chicago field office of the FBI and be like, hey, I'm curious. <laughs> I want to follow up with you guys. You called me and no, asked I think me I'll some let strange that, questions. I'm going to let that sleeping what, dog lie. What was that all about? <laughs> and you said your last name was what, sir? We'll, we'll, we'll have an agent in touch with you very soon. Harris. No, no, my last name is I'm Harris. I'm good. Harris. <laughs>